Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today is going to be a big day. I'm going to start replacing the transmission on this amazing Crocodile Mercedes W140 S Class 1994. I really love this amazing machine. Uh, keeping it all nicely preserved and under the cover. And today is a big day. I really need to go ahead and remove the old transmission and replace it with a new one. I've got a bunch of new parts as well to install while I'm doing the job. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll be doing it over here outside. So yeah, if you ever need to do a job or something, you know, don't uh, give yourself any excuses that you can't do it because you don't have, you know, a garage space or whatever else. But let's go ahead and start this project. All right, guys, let's go over quickly of some of the parts that I'll be installing on this amazing machine while doing my transmission swap amazing crocodile w140 s class i love this machine so here are some parts we've got rear main seal original gonna be installing that we've got fluid okay uh, dextron 3 and also lucas additive i'm gonna be adding that as well even though it's a new transmission still want to add it next thing what i got is transmission mount brand new center support and the bearing highest quality parts We've got two brand new made in Germany flex discs, front and rear. I mean, they're basically the same, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why the colors are a little different, but yeah, this one's also made in Germany. Okay, or all high quality parts. This is the boot for center support for the two half uh, halves of the drive shaft. I got a vacuum hose, brand new. Uh, genuine Mercedes brand new transmission pan gasket because I still want to take the transmission pan off and and I'll just go ahead and change the filter as well uh, just in case I know even though it's a new transmission and everything I still I want to pre-soak everything and make sure it's all good to go so the car is already jacked up on um, jack stands when I take the transmission out, I might have to lift it up some more to be able to clear everything. One thing that's really, really important to do is to sweep the area so it's all clean and free of any garbage. All right, so we are under the car. And right now, I just used a 27 millimeter socket and a ratchet to turn the, the engine clockwise because I had to, you know, I have to drain the torque converter, so there's a drain plug on it so you have to turn the, the engine because it's not when you st stop the engine it's never it doesn't always uh, you know stop at that position so you have to turn the engine so you can locate the drain plug on it and now i'm about to drain the torque converter and the oil pan so here is the transmission drain plug it's also five millimeter allen that we're gonna take off there she is So we're going to drain the trans first, the pan, it's pretty clean fluid because I did the trans fluid service on it at some point but it is what it is, I'm going to have brand new fluid anyways for it, so that's okay. I could have saved it but it is what it is. So the torque converter is done draining, I'm about to install this new drain plug and crush washer on it. So we're going to start lowering this exhaust, um, undo these mounts, and then start lowering the exhaust. I'm not going to take the exhaust all the way out, just going to lower it and probably put like a jack stand here with like a rubber pad. Alright, so I got this area all cleaned up basically, swept, and I got the cardboard, so I'm going to jump in and start working on this machine. Okay, so now I have this 27 millimeter socket. I'm gonna turn the engine clockwise. And then the reason why is because I have to loosen torque converter bolts. They're 10 millimeter bolts. I think it's like six or eight of them there. And we're gonna do that. And then after that, I'll proceed to the next step. But yeah, you need a 27 millimeter socket and a ratchet to turn the engine by hand to get to those bolts. It's really hard to show you guys, but this is what I'm working on. I just have to suck it in there and loosen it already. And I'm gonna take it out. That's the second bolt already. Got a couple more to go. There's one right here. 
All right, so when you're loosening these torque converter bolts, make sure that you are holding the crankshaft from turning as well, because if you're not, the engine will be turning backwards as you're trying to loosen the torque converter bolts. And that's not good. You're never, you're never supposed to uh, turn the engine counterclockwise. So that's why with one hand, you're holding the crankshaft from turning and the other, you're loosening this bolt. Yeah, so I got this the fourth bolt that I'm gonna take out. Right there, as you can see. And then every time you have to, you loosen a couple of bolts, like I said, you have to turn the crankshaft clockwise to get to the other set of bolts. All right, now I'm lifting the rear diff because I'm gonna have to spin the drive shaft to remove, or spin, yeah, so to remove all the bolts basically. So that's what we're doing now. So I'm removing these bolts holding the rear mounts on. It's easier to just remove those bolts. They're 13 millimeter and I'm about to remove that one as well. Two mounts are loose in the back supporting the exhaust here. All right, so there's that mount right there and another one right there that I just undid. Now I have to lower the exhaust a little more. All right, next thing is this heat shield that we have to take off, but I already took off those bolts. There's screws, like there's four of them, eight millimeter. And now I just have to like lower the exhaust a little more so I can snake this thing out of here. So now we can get to the center support and everything else. I did not disconnect any O2 sensors just yet. Hopefully I don't have to. Okay, now I'm removing this, uh, just uh, like a protective plate. The drive shift is. That's not a center support, it's just protective plate. Center support is down there. And then I'm gonna be removing this uh, exhaust mount right here as well, here shortly. Okay, so remove the, I removed the trans cross, cross member and then I'm about to start undoing the flex disc and I have to undo this exhaust mount right there. All right, so I've got this exhaust mount off. Now to disconnect this neutral safety switch, you just push this forward and you can like wiggle it off carefully. There we go. Right, after lowering the exhaust enough, Take this out so we can chill. Ooh, lots of work still left. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the drive shift. Work on that. Okay, so drive shift is coming out slowly but surely. I'm doing flex discs, as you can see, they are in horrible condition, front and rear. And there's this fabric right here, sound deadening from the factory that's been sagging, it's been rubbing right here on the drive shaft, that's okay. And once it trains us out, I'm just gonna have to re-glue that back. It's a combination of the blue and 40s. So if you can't do this, if you can't move this uh, in and out, then you have to loosen uh, this nut. Hold this and then loosen this nut right here. Okay, but sometimes usually on some of these cars, they're just, they're not tight. So you can still move the shaft in and out easy. Drive shaft is out. Okay, I'm gonna mark it because I'll be replacing the center support and the bearing too. All right guys, so I installed a brand new rear flex disc made in Germany as well. So for this rear section, it's kind of like almost like a 190E that I did in the drive shaft service on. So there's a 27 millimeter nut right here and right there, but on this one, it's a pain to get to. You would have to take this cover off, but I don't need to. I just took that one off and just slightly bent it a little bit and it gave me enough space to take the drive shaft out. That's okay. And I'll be able to bend it back just fine and reinstall it later. Okay, so there's a, a Bowden cable right there that I have to disconnect. So there's just a ball joint that I have to like pop out and then that section right there, just have to squeeze and 
go through that way. Dipstick tube. Um, so usually there's a mount for it right there, but it's missing because somebody really took, had this trans out on this car because what I noticed is that even the one of the bolts for the torque converter that mounts the tor torque converter, uh, it, it was different. So yeah, somebody really had this trans out before. I'm not sure why, what was going on. Maybe they were fixing something. Don't know. Okay, I'm just marking this drive shaft here to there. Even though it has the mark right here and right here, they both line up. But just an extra precaution. Got new center support and bearing for it. Okay, now I'm focused on removing or loosening these trans cooling lines. So I want to loosen all the retainers because when you take the trans out, you don't want anything to get bent. So it's better to just leave them out. Okay, and these also will be getting changed, so, yep. And then after that, I'm gonna start removing the bell housing bolts and the starter. All right, loosening the trans banjo bolt here, this one, and draining some more fluid. Okay, so I got, I'm um, loosening the starter now, I'll loosen the both uh, wires on the starter as well and then I can take the starter out as well uh, so the reason why I'm taking the starter fully out is because I'll be changing it I have a new one so since I'm already here I'm gonna replace the starter installed brand new Bosch starter and uh, yeah it's gonna be nice okay so here's the dipstick dipstick you have this mount right here this one and the bottom and this one too but this one was missing the bolt okay i got two more bolts left here and that's it we're ready to remove this transmission all the connectors everything disconnected a lower uh, engine harness disconnected right here everything cooling lines out of the way both sides yeah so I'm ready to drop this trans here shortly This is definitely a process now. I gotta lower it onto the wood off the jack. I could lift it up all the way, but still, I mean, it's like half of the trans still sticking into the inside of the car, so. All right, so this is really sketchy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take this trans out. It's still not enough clearance, so I'm working with it right now. I'm trying to get it out. Okay, I'm gonna take it out from this side. There's more clearance here. Started to clean all the parts and everything. There's a trans right there. So I have the crankshaft 27 millimeter socket is being held on while I loosen those bolts for the um, flywheel. So it looks like someone has already been here. There's sealant on that plate. So I'm actually not gonna drain the oil. They've done it already. But um, there's still a leakage right here coming from this. But I don't know. I think this is not original. I see it's like maybe a ring. I don't know. Maybe they did something wrong. I'm not sure. But I'm still going to take it off. Um, I'm not going to take off the rear plate probably because it's actually okay. Yeah. I'm just going to take care of this uh, crank seal. All right. So now while i'm holding the crankshaft with the pry bar i'm gonna take these out and you can mark the flywheel if you want to but this one only goes one way there's like a notch right there so you don't really need to but i'm still gonna make another mark right here okay there's a mark right there okay i got all these bolts loosened up got all these bolts loosened up. flywheel is off now we're gonna take care of this crank seal. I have a feeling it's uh, some aftermarket one, I don't know. It is Victor Rains. Well, I think that for seals like that, you never wanna uh, cheap out. Get a brand new, genuine Mercedes part. Yeah, there's a crank uh, shift sensor actually 
would be nice to replace it while I'm here, but they usually never go bad, but there was some garbage on it, so I cleaned it up. Yeah, but this rear plate, I'm not gonna touch it. You know, it's all sealing fine. It's just coming, the oil is coming from here, this area. I guess I should have drained the oil first. <laughs> That's okay though. Let's take this seal out all the way. I'll just top it up later. There she is. All right, crank seal is installed. It's all original. Mercedes star on it right there. So yeah, cleaning everything up, installing the flywheel. So these bolts have a torque spec. And actually every time, well, these ones, you don't have to replace them every time. You can just measure them. There's actually measurements in the manual that you can use to measure the length of the bolt and the shank and make sure they're good. Um, yeah, so I'm reusing these old bolts. It should be fine, but if you have like torques, uh, inverted Torx bolts because they uh, from I think like May 1995 they came out with those Torx bolts same thread and everything but those Torx bolts you have to actually um, buy new ones you can't reuse these but you know these ones I'm just gonna reuse and we'll see everything's gonna be good okay so I'm gonna be holding the front of the crankshaft from turning and I'm gonna be torquing the flywheel and um, for the flywheel or flex plate, whatever you want to call it, uh, we're going to go 33 foot pounds or 45 newton meters and then 90 degrees each bolt. All right, getting late, but yeah, I'm having an issue that I discovered, unfortunately. And that issue is this right here. This is the lower engine harness on a W140 that I have. And all the wires are just disintegrating. And the sad part is that whoever changed the main engine harness, because the main engine harness is actually made in 2014. So it's good, but the lower engine harness, they didn't do anything about it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. Maybe I can find another one. Oh man, I really wanted to put this car back together ASAP. But seems like not right now. So yeah, but anyways, that's kind of where I'm at now. My main focus is gonna, is gonna be on this main, main uh, or lower engine harness. Oh, here's the baby. She's currently taken apart. Yep, and uh, just sitting on jack stands wait to see this car back on the road my amazing crocodile love this machine yeah so at this moment in time i'm kind of stuck because while when i took out the transmission i noticed that the lower engine harness was not in good condition the wires were falling apart mainly the small thin wires for like that oil level uh, sensor for oil pressure sensor and for like the, the small wire that goes to the alternator as well they were all kind of like fried falling apart but the two other wires the thick wire that goes to the starter and the alternator they were fine it's just uh yeah so now i have to figure something out uh you know and either rebuild this wiring harness or something else because i tried looking up online but there's nothing available sadly so I'm gonna have to rebuild this lower harness. But the good news is that, as you guys know, I've made a video about it, is that the upper engine harness was replaced. It's actually an updated one from 2014, Delphi brand. So, but yeah, as of right now, I'm just kind of stuck. I need to do something about this wiring harness before I install the transmission on the car. So this is what the wires look like. This is for the oil um, level sensor how bad it is and then this is for the alternator wire and then this right here now this is for the yeah so that's for the alternator but as you can see it's all falling apart this one is for oil pressure sensor this guy yep and then this is the starter wire also bad and then what i did it goes all the way here to this connector 
So I actually peeled this back a little more, but when you do that, I'm about to show you that the wires over right here are also falling, uh, falling apart. Now this big cable that goes to the starter and also this alternator cable, they're okay. There's nothing really wrong with those. So I'm just gonna focus on these small wires. So if you look, I just peeled it off, but the wires are also falling apart in there. This just broke off this wire, literally. All right, so I had to cut open this connector. It was a pain, but that's how you cut it open, kind of from both sides. And then now I can replace these wires. As you can see, the wires inside are also, they're not that horrible, but you can see some cracking up right there. So I gotta change that. Here it is with the thing off, with the lid. So you need some kind of cut-off tool because if you cannot be cutting it by hand, it's probably gonna take a while. Yeah. All right, guys. So here's the transmission that I took out from this W140. And this is a, an NOS transmission I'll be installing onto this car. I've got a brand new flex disc for it right there. I'll pre-install, I've got new trans mount. And I'll reinstall the torque converter, but I'm gonna take it off because I have to have someone tilt this trans so I can pour oil in it, just pre-soak it kind of like that, you know. But here it is, guys. Brand new, never been installed or anything. The only difference is that this uh, uh, bone cable mechanism is just a little different right here. This one has like an additional red thing, but that red thing is usually for cars with like a sports mode. Um, yeah but it's okay it doesn't really matter not a huge deal but yeah everything is literally brand new on this thing and the only thing is i had to install brand new bushing because the bushing was not on here but yeah everything else is there um yeah so this is the old trans okay so that's what this one looks like had some oil leaks but yeah uh, the only thing guys is this trans nah, there's a part number for it right there it actually came out of this box so it's a brand new never been installed or used yep and it sat for i think 15 years at the person's place garage where i got it from yep and this is gonna go onto my car the only thing as you can see it was welded right here because i don't know during the shipping or something happened and i think it just like it cracked or something fell on it i'm not sure exactly what happened but yeah i had or the professionals actually welded this thing and everything is good to go same on this side right there it was all welded up so yeah she will be she will be okay she will be good but yeah, pretty excited. I just have to do a couple more things before I reinstall this car or this transmission onto the car. So the vacuum line was disconnected on the old vacuum modulator and I couldn't find where that line was. Somebody just probably deleted it. So we're gonna install one with this T. Frame, left and right. So we can slide the transmission on there.
from jacking this up until we get to slide the trans. I guess that's one way to secure a pad. Yep. Okay. So it's in. I'm gonna slide this underneath. No, why not? I might need to just add one more block. Let's see. Lifted some more. Can you try to add that? Ah, shoot, bad angle. Oh, this trans is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll try. Actually, you know, maybe I can slide this jack from under this side. I'm gonna try it from under this side. Okay. Is that one still good? Jack here just to oh, looks good here. So, so lift up yours and then lift up mine a little. Some grease on these guide pins. Right there. There's one more. Right here. That way, they won't seize in the future. Bolts are definitely a pain. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I got this uh, brand new starter, actually, Bosch right here. There's, there was nothing wrong with the old one, but I uh, just want to install a brand new one while I'm here, you know, so I'm going to install this bad boy right now. And I'm going to keep the old one. It's still good. There's nothing wrong with the old one, but since I'm doing this job, just change it. I'm gonna get this uh, boating cable out this way. This connects the throttle linkage. I'm leave it there for now. And then I'm gonna add this vacuum hose because I took the old trans out. The vacuum hose was not attached to this thing. I don't want to attach it. Okay, so I'll definitely have to shorten this hose because that's a brand new vacuum hose I got. Do that. Da -da -da. Working on putting the starter in right now. Yeah, you got a brand new starter. Might as well. Alright, ready to fill her up. Fresh new fluid. Coming along. Right. And also putting Lucas trans additive, even though the transmission is brand new, still putting that in there. Uh, we're putting the these brand new uh, retainers, three on each side for the trans cooling lines. Yeah, so the old ones are kind of falling apart too. It's not good, like this one. So we gotta have new ones. Alright guys, well, we're almost ready to start this car up and hopefully everything goes well and amazing. We look like grease monkeys, but we love these amazing old school machines and that's what we do. We save them all because who else will do it if not us? So yeah, just uh, cleaned the mass airflow sensor with mass airflow sensor cleaner. I'm gonna put it back, just putting some silicone paste on the boot and uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna show you everything underneath actually of what we did. Uh, yeah, trans, everything, exhaust, drive shaft, everything is back together. So, ready to start this car up. We'll see how that goes. Still low. It's barely like right here. Wow. Well, torque converter takes like a lot of oil too.
All right, guys, we're about to take this amazing machine on the test drive and everything. Super excited. Yeah. And uh, let me show you, actually, uh, like I told you, I've driven about four miles with this car. And uh, I'll show you what the transmission looks like. It's literally all brand new. Everything is new there. No oil leaks. Everything is great. And uh, there's a stamp on it as well on that transmission. Mercedes-Benz stamp. And also... The rear main seal is all good, not leaking. It's brand new. Yep, lots of work has been done to this car. So, very, very excited. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, I'm about to put this in reverse. Engage is right away. Okay, gotta get the parking brake off. Look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and drive. Wow, it just shifted like a butter. That is crazy. Wow, that's amazing, it shifts like butter, that's crazy. Man, I love this car, isn't it something? Oh my gosh, lovely machine. So proud of this, these amazing cars, so they don't make them like they used to. Not Whoa. these garbage Subarus. <laughs> All right, yeah, man, this is so smooth, this car is just, so awesome like butter man there we go wow you gotta be kidding me so amazing man there was so much love done to this car can't believe it beautiful weather today I love the fog yeah I love Washington State guys so amazing way over here the weather man I don't see myself anywhere else all right guys so now I stopped and we're gonna shift it to reverse man check this out Nice, no jerking, nothing. This car is just amazing, guys. Yeah, lovely machine.
please let me know what you guys think about this video and everything i hope you like the video thank you so much for watching and everything and i appreciate everyone who donates to my channel to all my patrons guys thank you so much uh, even if i didn't reply to you or didn't uh, say thank you um it could be maybe i missed your message or something like that i really apologize you know i try to respond to as many people as i can so sorry about that but uh, like i said i really appreciate everyone every single one of you who helped me out with saving these amazing machines who donate the money to the channel so i can put that money into these amazing old school cars really is thank you so much without you guys it would be really hard to do this but you know i really appreciate everything you guys do and help me out with so stay tuned for more videos i'll see you in the next one